Hey guys, welcome back to Wild and Vibe Cooking. For today's recipe, I will be showing you guys how to make stuffed bell peppers. This recipe is loaded with seasoned ground beef, hearty rice, with of course pepper jack cheese. I'm sure you guys will love this recipe. If you would like to see it, keep on watching and let's jump right into it. To begin, we're starting with three different color bell peppers. These are nice and sweet and perfect for this recipe. So as you guys can see, this one is literally, it can't really sit. So what I am going to do is cut the bottom part of it so we can have it nice and sitting straight just like that. And then we're going to cut the top part of the bell pepper just like so. Once I'm done, I am going to remove the core and the seeds. Make sure you remove them. And also, I forgot to mention, be sure to clean your bell peppers. I mean, who doesn't know that? But you know, you'll be surprised. <laughs> so just remove the seeds just like that. And bam, you have your first bell pepper ready. Now I'm going to do the same exact thing for the other ones. Once you're done having all your bell peppers nice and clean, you're going to place it in a baking dish. We're going to bake it for 15 minutes on 350 degrees, okay? You want it to be nice and soft and tender before you start stuffing them. Now I'm using the top part of the bell peppers to cut them up, chop them up, so I can use them into this dish as well because you don't wanna waste anything all right so here i have some pepper jack cheese now you can use whatever cheese you want mozzarella um, white cheddar whatever cheese now in this skillet here i added one tablespoon of unsalted butter here once it's nice and melted we're going to add one cup of chopped onion and now I'm going in with the bell peppers that I that I cut earlier. We're going to use about four ounces of that and just pour it in and we're going to cook them until they're nice and tender and soft and until your onion is nice and translucent. Once the onion and the bell peppers are nice and soft, we're going to add in one tablespoon of minced garlic. Of course, you can use regular garlic cloves if you like, but we're going to add that in and make sure it's nice and cooked before we move on to the next step. Now we're going in with our ground beef. You can also add sausage to this as well. As you guys can see right now, we're having a low meat shortage, whatever they wanna call it. I couldn't get my hand on um, Italian sausage, so I'm using only ground beef. <laughs> All right, once my ground beef no longer pink, I am going to season the ground beef. To season the ground beef, we're using one teaspoon of salt, half a tablespoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of ground cumin, half tablespoon of paprika, 
half tablespoon of pepper flakes, dry pepper flakes. Next, we're going in by adding one tablespoon of chopped parsley. We're using some double U sauce with some white balsamic vinegar. And we're going to give that a quick mix. Next, I'm adding some tomato sauce. I'm using one and a half cup in total, okay? At first, I'm using a half, half, about half a cup then I am going to add some more. Now be sure to check the description box for the ingredients because that's where you'll find the measurement. I wanted to add some more flavor to this ground beef so I, I went ahead and add one teaspoon of Creole seasoning and also I'm using about a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. Now I'm adding my rice in. This is about one cup of leftover white rice. You can use corn, you can use whatever else you wanna add in there, or you can just leave it as is, don't add anything. In my opinion, I feel like the rice add more texture to it and it just make it more stuff, okay? Here I'm adding the pepper jack cheese, Mix that up together. Of course, you can add more cheese if you like, but I wanted to have a meaty, hearty um, type of stuffing, so I didn't want to overdo it with the cheese. Now look at that. Let me tell you, this right here can be eaten by itself. This is the most amazing thing you'll taste in your entire life. It's so, so, so flavorful, guys. Everything in there, the peppers make it nice and sweet. Plus, you have the dry pepper flakes give, it, give you that, you know, spiciness. And you have the balsamic vinegar to give you that little bit of sourness. It's just complete. It is a complete meal okay by now of course i took out my bell peppers this is what they look like we're going to um season them real quick with some salt and pepper yes i'm adding the pepper right now you might not be able to see it but i did add the pepper the ground black pepper in and then we're going to stuff these bell pepper up and look at that meat. I just wanna eat the whole thing by itself. But now we're going to stuff the bell peppers. And yes, I made a lot, I know. It's because I am going to be making some tacos with the rest for dinner. <laughs> so don't judge me. That's why I made so much. And of course you can even stuff about 10 not maybe seven i don't know maybe seven bell peppers regular size bell peppers with this whole you know rice and beef mixture now it's time for me to stuff the last bell pepper so we're going to add i like to stuff it and really push it down make sure it's nice and stuffed <laughs> okay now once you're done we're going to add some more more cheese on top just like that oh child this is about to be amazing So of course, this is what it looks like, guys. Nice and cheesy. We're going to bake it for about 15 minutes on 350. This is what it looks like. And no, we're not done. I'm adding some more cheese on top because, hey, we need this to be nice and cheesy. So I'm adding some more cheese on top. Bake it again for about 10 more minutes. You can even turn, turn on your boiler just to make sure you have some color on the cheese. And once it is done baking, <laughs> this, this is basically what you have. This is it. You have the most cheesy 
when I tell you these were so 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 good guys try them out I recommend this you will thank me you will come back to this video for sure it's delicious okay delicious and it's the perfect dinner you don't have to do anything else you good to go okay that's one pot meal to me <laughs> because you really don't have to do much after you eat one you are stuffed <laughs> this is it hope you enjoy it be sure to give the video a thumbs up for me also make sure to subscribe if you're new to it on the post notification bell and i will see you guys on my next video bye